I've seen the transit of Mercury, I've seen the transit of Venus, and I've seen a lunar eclipse, but I have not seen a solar eclipse. I'm going to drive down, I'm going to see it, it only is going to last for like four minutes, but it's going to be so worth it. This is America, this is Luke and Trevor, my brother, and this is me, Taryn. Oh, you're vlogging. We are going to see the eclipse in Oregon, 2017, August 21. We're in Washington. The USS Eclipse. He knows, he knows where he's going. Yell at him. Yeah! <laughs> look, look at what this guy's got. Six tubs, a stroller. Okay, I can't accelerate this car very well anymore. There's so much weight. You guys are so freaking heavy. I've got 14 gallons of water in the back. Does your car even lift, bro? It's, it's lifting a lot right now. <laughs> it's a four it's cylinder, a fire, right? Uh, I don't know. Must be. If you don't know, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're hit traffic. Maybe it's already backed up all the way from here to oh Southern God. Oregon. No, no, no. My phone would have told me that it's. Yeah, the rest area is pretty full. Full of cars. Bunch of maps here, including Washington cannabis tourism maps. Oh, that's cool. It's a little windsurfer. I'd love to try one of those. The camera does not do justice to this. Look. Wow, these are just beautiful rolling hills. And we're in golden hour, so it looks especially pretty. Off in Oregon, this is a really charming town. You look good, Trevor, in golden hour. Thanks, Taryn. <laughs> so, we found our campsite. Here we are. Some people are staying here to watch the eclipse, but we are moving on to Madras, not Maupin. This, this campsite is 99% in the path of totality. So you get it for like two seconds. It's not good enough, we gotta keep going. Uh, we're here on uh, this Oregon Trail. Oh my god, look at the line for gas. Yes, the lines okay, for okay, gas. Okay, let's go uh, to the back of the line for gas. This is the airport. On a desolate field. A thousand sites, so they made fifty thousand dollars, and basically they just supplied us with porta potties. Very, very dusty. Every time a car drives by, everybody gets covered in dust. It's a tent city. This reminds me of the movie Contact, where they just had the tent city out in the desert. They said that they're bigger than Earth. The sunspots. Hey, where'd you get that food? Down over by the airport. Over there. Oh, sweet. Look at this endless line of all these people trying to get in. People just camping right here. I don't know if they can do that. I guess they're just doing it anyway. This is the biggest event they'll have for 375 years. These guys are all parking. they are planes. I had no idea there were going to be so many. Really should have brought a plane. Yeah, there we go. There's some stuff. Funnel cakes. Oh, I'm going to get a funnel cake. There's the beer garden. Powdered sugar. Trevor's eating might. This cost eight dollars. Go easy on it. You're at Solarport. As far as the eye can see, we've got a line of cars trying to get into their camping spots. Boy, it's hot. I can't wait till the temperature goes down at night. So our sneaky plan is to get out of here because we do not want to have to fight five Super Bowls worth of traffic. The problem with the video logger and your secret plan to everyone in the entire office. Who cares? <laughs> they, can, they can leave early if they want to as well. Um, we're going to pack everything up, go to a rest stop on the way back, and we'll lose like eight seconds of totality, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight traffic, especially because we got to get Luke back. Portland by five. There's only one road in and out. Nobody else is leaving. They're all staying. Really? For the eclipse. This is the totality spot. As long as we're going that way, I'm happy. That way, there's clouds. Right. 
McDonald's parking lot is so packed, there's nowhere to park. I've, I've been abandoned by my two co-travelers. They just went inside. Oh Found a nice little, a nice little paved roundabout. Parked the car on these beautiful rolling planes and we're gonna watch the eclipse with these nice people. It's gonna be great. It's starting. That's great. This is a really intense wow. edge. I mean, there's not a lot of... It's not fuzzy at all. Yeah, that's moving surprisingly this fast. This is better than This is, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is great. I came to the right compass. Well, we, we, saw, we saw your little telescope on the road. We're like, ooh, oh, let's yeah. get in on that. Yeah, we tried to get here, and then we Where's turned into that parking lot where they want $25. It's like, this isn't, this where isn't right. Where? The sun is free. Yeah. That's very distinct. <laughs> Two seconds before totality, that's when we will see Bailey's beads. We'll be able to see the planets. It is definitely colder. It is. It is. We're at about like 10% sun. Trevor, can you take a picture with the uh, crescent moon? Crescent moons. We're down to like 8 minutes. Everything does look really weird. My goodness.
it is. Yeah, we got to do that too. Yeah. I want to look through that telescope again. Yeah. We just want to beat the RV. That was the freaking coolest thing ever. That was very cool. <gasps> nice to meet you. Did you videotape it from your car? Yeah. Um, Tidal wave of people. Hey, we got to get on the road soon. This is going to start really filling up. Right, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Good luck, guys. We're here, the military is directing traffic. Are they? They've got the National Guard here Jeez. with machine guns to keep us in line. I, I, I kind of cut in front of the guy behind us. I feel bad Shut about up. that. do not admit guilt. There was not- Do not admit guilt. There was not enough time. The contrast is very high. It's about half sunlight right now. There's still some eclipse. We'll take a look at the sun up here. You're using the glasses? You can see it's still obscured halfway by the moon. Someone's meditating on a blanket. Uh, Great American traffic jam. It's the eclipse escape. With the chicken. We're in the first 2% of the traffic jam, and it's still terrible. Should have left even sooner, right after the eclipse ended. We should have just been on the road. It'll be alright, at least we're moving. Uh, I'm probably not going to the next one. Texas. I mean, we'll see where I'm at in life. So, uh, the bottleneck was moping. Moping, whatever. Once you get past that, we're in these beautiful open roads again. Yeah, the moping, uh, the moping road now. And uh, all the way back to Portland, apparently, it'll be pretty smooth sailing. And our athlete in the back seat. Yeah, Trevor had to leave the car to take a piss. We inched forward, we had to run to catch up. We found a beautiful campsite in coastal Oregon. Some stuff on the table. Here's our tent. Hello. See the rain fly? Yeah, it's a terrible rain fly. It doesn't cover the whole tent. This is my sophisticated $20 tent. It does not cover the whole tent. It's good for zero rainstorm. As long as, yes. When it gets rained on once, you throw it away. <laughs> it's a disposable tent. Look at those Douglas firs. I have no cell phone signal, so I'm reading a book here about phantom islands and things. Mm. That's foggy, all right. So this, kids, is called a phone booth. You open up, you, you take the thing off, and you listen. I'm not hearing a dial tone. And then you get herpes just from touching it. That's how the phone booths worked. 